everybody. Um, so for this project of the little girl uh, Mary Jane shoes, you're going to need your two different colours of wool. So I'm using black for the sole and red for the shoe. So to start this project, I'm starting with the sole and I'm going to make a slip knot. And just to make it neat, I'm going to crochet this strand in with the main strand and I'm going to chain 13 stitches. One, and 13 stitches. For round one, you're going to skip the first stitch and into the second stitch, put two half double crochets. One and two. And then one half double crochet in the next 10 stitches. One, two, three, eight, nine, and 10. And in the last stitch, put five half double crochets all into the same stitch. One, two, three, four and five and now you're going to work down the other side of the chain. So do one half double crochet in the next ten stitches. One, nine and ten and that should bring you back to the very first stitch of the round where you put two half double crochets and into that same stitch you're going to put another three half double crochets. So that means you will have five half double crochets at the top of your sole and five half double crochets at the bottom of your sole. And what you need to do then is slip stitch to the first half double crochet of the round. And that is the end of round one. For round two, you're gonna start by chaining one and into the first stitch, put two half double crochets and then one half double crochet in the next 11 stitches. So that's one, 10, and 11. And now you're going to put two half double crochets in the next five stitches. So that's two into the first stitch, two into the next stitch, two into the third one at the top, two into the next stitch and two into the next stitch. So that's two half double crochets in five stitches. That leaves you 10, 10 stitches altogether. So now do one half double crochet down the other side in the next 11 stitches. So that's two, Ten. 11, and you should have four stitches left, one, two, three, four, and put two half double crochets in each stitch. Two, three, four, five, six, and the last stitch, seven, and eight, and again, slip stitch to the first half double crochet of the round, and that is the end of round two. For round three, and the final round of your sole, chain one, and in the first stitch, do 14, sorry, in the first stitch, do one half double crochet, and one half double crochet in the next 13 stitches. So that's 14 half double crochets down the side. So that's three, four, and 14. So that's one half double crochet in the first 14 stitches of round three. So that's 14 stitches done, and now you're going to do one half double crochet in the next six stitches. No, you're not. That's 14 done, and now you're going to do two half double crochet in the next six stitches. So that's one, two, two in the next stitch. That's two, two in the, two in the next stitch is three, two in the next stitch is four, two in the next stitch is five, and two in the next stitch is six. 
and now do one half double crochet in the next 14 stitches. Okay, so I have six stitches left at the end of round three, and I'm going to do one half double crochet in each stitch. One stitch, that's two in the next stitch, two in the third stitch, two in the fourth stitch, five, and two in the last stitch. And that should bring you round to the beginning of the round. I'm not gonna run out of wool there. And just slip stitch to the top of the first half double crochet of the round, pull your wool through and then chain one. Your wool should be longer and just pull that good and tight and you can weave that in. And that bit, the outward facing bit is gonna be the bottom of your shoe. So that is the end of round three. Okay, now we're going to go on to the red part of the shoe. So the front part of your sole is actually going to go to the bottom and you're going to turn it over so that the wrong side is facing up. And what you need to do is you need to go into the middle of your set of two double crochet in the six stitches. So if you go to your first two double crochet in one stitch, your second two double crochet in a stitch, third and go into the top between there and that's the very back and instead of going straight into the stitch which is there you are going to go into the very back so you have one there you've got one there and you are going to go into the very back stitch and join on your wool your main color with a slip with a chain and into that same stitch do one single crochet and you're using the very back loops only in this round. So do one single crochet in every stitch around. Just one single crochet in each stitch. In the back loops only, very back loops. Now for round five, you're going to make sure that the sole bit that's sticking out like that is at the bottom. And you're now going to be working your way around this way. So make sure you're not working this way where the sole is sticking up, you want the st sole sticking down. So for the round five, the first thing you do is chain one and into that same stitch, do one half double crochet and one half double crochet in the next 17 stitches. So you're going to have one half double crochet in the first 18 stitches of the round. So that's three, four <coughs> and 18. And now you are going to double crochet the next 16 together. So that will be eight double crochets, not half double. So in order to do this, wrap your wool around your hook, insert it into your stitch and pull your wool through and pull it through two stitches. Wrap your wool around your hook again, put it into the next stitch and pull it through, pull it through two stitches, leaving three stitches on your hook and wrap your wool around your hook and pull it through again. And repeat this seven more times. And last one. One, and two together eight times. You should have 18 stitches left and into each stitch you're going to do a half double crochet. So that was two double crochet together and now we're back to half double crochet for the rest of the round. So you continue to do half double crochet right to the very back and you just slip stitch to the top of the first stitch of the round to complete that round. Now we go on to round six. So for round six, chain one and the first two stitches you're going to single crochet together. So how I do this is I pull my wool through the stitch and just go straight into the next stitch and pull my wool through and pull my wool through all three stitches. A single crochet into the next stitch, single crochet two together in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, single crochet two together in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, and single crochet two together in the next stitch and one single crochet in the next stitch. 
Now, do five more single crochets in the next five stitches. So one, two, three, four, and five. And now you are going to double crochet 10 stitches together. So double crochet two together in the next 10 stitches. So, oops, that's two together once. So you're gonna do this five times, two together twice, oops. and one more time, two together five times. Now, do one single crochet, I'm gonna cut this thread, one single crochet in the next six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you're going to do two together and one single crochet to the end. So two single crochets together again and one single crochet in the next stitch, two single crochets together and one single crochet in the next stitch and then slip stitch to the top of the first stitch of the round. So your shoe should start to look like that. Now we're just gonna do one more round and it's a very simple round. Go to chain one for the last round and just put one single crochet in every stitch around. So I've come to the last stitch and I'm just going to slip stitch to the first single crochet of the round, chain one, my wool, pull that through and weave this piece of wool in and out. So now I'm going to do the little strap that goes across the shoe and I'm going to change to a 3.5 millimeter hook. So 3.5 millimeter hook and from the back of your shoe count 11 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. Okay, and on the 11th stitch, join your wool on with a, with a chain. Join your wool on with a chain and chain 12 chains, chain 12 chains. Nine, 10, 11 and 12. And then in the second chain from the hook, single crochet back along that chain. Until you get back to the first single crochet And then what you do is you slip stitch to the next stitch, like that, chain one, and put your thread again, you're going to weave that thread in, and then you can take a button, I have a little uh, star, and you sew this onto this side of the shoe and then just attach the star to make it look like a buckle because the baby's foot is just gonna slip into the shoe. And that is how you make a little Mary Jane shoe. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.